Hey guys, so I felt like trying a new type of horse racing video, so I thought, why not talk about my favorite horse racing film of all time, and favorite film of all time, Seabiscuit. I think a lot of people love this film, and I think I love it more than anyone, although I don't know if I have any competition. We'll see. But I thought it would be fun to go over the inaccuracies with the film. I am very much aware that these inaccuracies were most likely made for entertainment purposes, and that's fine. I'm perfectly fine with that, but I think it's a fun idea to mention the things that they intentionally or unintentionally got wrong. I think it's interesting, and every nonfiction film has a lot of inaccuracies, and I think it's interesting to talk about the real-life story and where the movie part comes in. So without further ado, here are 10 inaccuracies with Seabiscuit. Number one, War Admiral is not 18 hands. This is by far the most just flat-out wrong inaccuracy with the film. If you look at a side-by-side -side comparison of the two, War Admiral and Seabiscuit are nearly identical in height, and that's generally what a lot of people said about War Admiral. War Admiral is actually quite famously short, just like Seabiscuit, but of course they had to change up his height for dramatic effect to make a more David and Goliath type story. But yes, in real life, War Admiral was only about 15 two hands, and people called him the Mighty Adam because of his small body but great ability to race. Number two, Red never confessed that he was blind. One of the most popular scenes in the film is where Red confesses that he is blind in his right eye. This never happened. Yes, he was blind, but he never confessed that he was blind until after he was done writing Seabiscuit. No one ever found out about it until after he was not famous anymore. He was a has-been at the time, so no one really cared anymore. Number three, Rosemont was not Chestnut. In the film, Rosemont is depicted as a chestnut with a bright blaze on his face. In real life, Rosemont was actually a dark bay horse who kind of looked a lot like Seabiscuit. So yes, I don't know why they did this. Maybe they just couldn't find another bay horse actor. Number four, Seabiscuit was not pulled up immediately like he is in the film when he went lame. In the film, Seabiscuit is pulled up immediately when he gets injured during a race after he has defeated War Admiral. In real life, though, he went on to finish second in the race before going lame. Number 5. Seabiscuit was not in post position number 9 during the 1940 Santa Anita Handicap. In the film, he is given post position number 9, but in real life, Seabiscuit was actually given post position number 1 in the race. And this kind of segues over into the next part, number 6. The trip that he had in the Santa Anita Handicap is completely fictionalized and dramatized. In the actual race, he was stuck on the rail for most of it, found a way through, and went on to win. However, in the film, it's definitely way more dramatic. He falls out of the field and drops dead last before then George Wolf drops back to give Seabiscuit some motivation, and then he comes back and finishes the race and we all cried at the end. Obviously, I kind of like this uh, sort of scene way better than the actual race, but just know that, yeah, obviously this never happened. Number seven, the first race Ren and Seabiscuit had together was not a $20,000 allowance race. In the film, it is very clearly stated that the first race that Ren and Seabiscuit have together is an allowance race that is worth $20,000. This horse couldn't win a church raffle, let alone a $2,000 allowance. In real life, though, it was actually the Motor City Handicap. The other big thing is that Seabiscuit, in the Motor City Handicap, finished fourth. However, in the film, he finishes second to last. Number eight, TikTok McLaughlin is not a real person. This is, th there's nothing else to say here. TikTok McLaughlin never existed, and there's no record of a TikTok McLaughlin ever existing. He's just William H. Macy. Number nine, Red Pollard losing his eye in a boxing match. Although Red was a boxer in real life, and just in general a prize fighter, he did not lose his right eye due to boxing. He actually lost it due to a traumatic brain injury during a training ride. While he was riding a horse, another horse kicked up something from its hooves, and it hit Red's head at just the right angle, and it blinded him in one eye. It's hard to explain, but if you get hit in the head at just the wrong angle, you can lose one of your eyes. And finally, number 10. Seabiscuit never won the San Miguel, San Onofre, or San Rafael handicaps. 
Seabiscuit is shown winning these three races in a winning montage. However, the San Miguel and the San Rafael were both stakes races and were both created well after Seabiscuit had died. The San Miguel stakes was created in 1956 and was discontinued in 2009. The San Rafael stakes was created in 1981 and discontinued in 2010. Both have never been handicap races and have only been stakes races. As well as that, the San Onofre handicap has never existed. As well as that, Seabiscuit did win six races. That makes six consecutive victories for this little colt from nowhere, one shy of the record. However, there were these six races, and not the San Miguel, San Onofre, or San Rafael handicap. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. Comment down if you want me to do any more of these inaccuracy videos, because I did have a lot of fun making this. And remember, I do love this movie a lot. But, you know, just like every other nonfiction piece, there is going to be a little bit of cinematic flair to it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And so long, Charlie.